Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I haven't really been vlogging for a couple of days. Uh, I just took some time off and um, have just been kind of chilling out and getting a lot of stuff done because now I'm pretty much off until the new year. I'm not really doing any work or working on any campaigns. There might be stuff that's been like already done and just scheduled, but it's pretty much chilled now. Well, I say chilled. I'm finally taking some time off which um, is not something that I often do and I'm very excited about it um, but so I haven't really been vlogging um, just because it's involved a lot of this a lot of no makeup days and a lot of admin so um, I thought today's video I would do something that I haven't actually like done before I've never really shown you fully around my house and um, after all of the talk in my last vlog about my house, I thought I would finally just give you a little vlog style, real time tour of my house. Now this is the house that Ali and I bought before I was working as a blogger. So um, he was working as an electrician, I was working at head office for a fashion brand and um, this was our first home ever. So it was really, really exciting. And like I said in my last video, uh, we loved this place and loved it at the time so much. It was like our own little place and um, it was just so amazing to have our own home. We were so, so excited. Um, obviously now we are moving on from here, but um, I always said that when we sold our house, I would give you guys a tour. So that's what I'm gonna do today. For a first home, this house has just been perfect. We have absolutely loved it to within an inch of its life. We completely put our own stamp on it and made it a home that we're so proud of and even though it is quite small when people come around They're always so complimentary and like oh my god. This is such a beautiful home that you have and I'm like, oh, that's so nice um, So yeah, I mean, I guess I won't ramble on too much about it And I will just kind of get into showing you the rooms But I guess we should just get on because this is actually quite late on in the day and it's getting quite dark So I may have to turn on lights like I'm doing at the moment because um, this is winter in England and there is not much natural light. So let's get into the tour. Lynx, Lynx, get off. No! <laughs> so this is our very cosy hallway. You can't get a lot of people in our hallway. And there is a little bit of shimmying going on when people are coming through the front door. The front door is here and um, it's actually sort of on a slant to the property. As you walk in, there is this shoe unit. This was here when we moved in and um, we changed the handles on it to make it a little bit more um, presentable. So it's been really useful. So I was really glad that they left that because we can just shove all of the shoes in there and not keep too much in this hallway because there's actually not a lot of space here. Um, we've got the lovely fuse board up here and this is where we keep like change and um, bits and bobs like that. Just you know those things that you have like a console table? Well, we wanted to keep this clear so you just put anything that you need to put in, in there. So that's great. On top of here, we have a picture of Ali and I at his mum's wedding. And then we also have a white company winter diffuser. And this is just the little mirrored box that I was telling you about with this open door policy, which I think Claire got me. And I haven't actually had a chance to hang it. I think I'm gonna save it for the new house. Um, and then there's some change that Ali's obviously left there. And these are just some net-a-porte umbrellas that we leave there in case we need it last minute. This mirror is probably my most favorite thing in the hallway. This mirror is probably about 50 years old and it was a gift from my dad and my stepmom when we moved in and I just thought that this was the perfect place for this mirror to go. It makes it feel a lot more spacious in this area and um, I just think it's absolutely beautiful because it's just so like battered and um, worn and I think once upon a time it was like gold and then it was brown and then they painted it this like white colour and it's all like quite... Um, roughly done which I really like so this is a bit of an antique but I um I love it so much and it will definitely be coming with us to the new house so as you come through the front door here are the stairs up to the second level and to your left is the lounge and I really liked having a separate hallway and lounge um I just love having a hallway so that there's that separation between your actual living space and um like where people come in so I really liked that I know that some places have the stairs in the actual living room um this just worked really well for us these are our sofas when we first moved into this property if you're an OG follower you might remember that we had these 
awful black leather sofas. I found them for 300 pounds in a closing down sale of a like sofa company and we lived with them for so long. They were the most uncomfortable sofas I've ever had in my life. So we really felt like we were splashing out when we got these sofas. We got them from DFS and when they arrived, oh, we were just so happy. And they are very, very comfortable. They're very sort of like um, squishy and you just kind of flop into them and it's quite nice. Um, we got a three-seater, I believe that's the three-seater. And then we got this kind of like snuggler. So two people can sit on this, um, but uh, it's quite cozy, so it's usually a couple that we have sit on this. Then this is our um, coffee tables that we chose. These are only £40 from the range, and we got two of them. There is one here, and also one over here. Please ignore the box, I get deliveries all the time. Um, on this one we have a diptyque mimosa candle, and then we have this lamp, which is from Dunelm, and this lamp cost me like £80, and when I bought it, I felt sick. I literally felt sick. I'd never spent that much on a lamp, but, and it's actually been destroyed by Lumi. She used to knock it over for some reason. So it's actually on its last legs and it's a bit wonky now, but we just love it so much and we feel like it really finished off this area of our living room really nicely. I'm gonna turn some lights on because it is getting quite dark. Yeah, that's much better. Um, on this table, we have a Jo Malone candle. This one is green tomato leaf and also a Le Mer lip balm, which I believe is Ali's that he stole. And these faux flowers you would have seen in one of my unboxing videos recently. These are from Berries and Grey. I will link it down below, but I think if you contact them, they can make you up bunches of faux flowers that just look absolutely beautiful. And also this urn is from Berries and Grey as well. On this sofa, we have the cushions that came with the sofa. And we also have some cushions from Laura Ashley, which I love. And then this funny little basket that the cats rub themselves up against. They absolutely love it. Um, I think it was a, it came holding some products and it just worked really well in our living room. People always ask about it. And it's actually a little bit grubby now because the cats always rub themselves on it. But um, yeah, it just kind of finishes off the sofa. And then you will notice a running theme. There are lots of blankets over the sofas and over any chairs that I have because I always need a blanket. <laughs> So probably my least favorite thing in this room is the TV unit and um, it's from Ikea. I just don't love it at all. I'm not a fan of the Ikea style furniture if I'm being perfectly honest, but you will notice that there is a lot of it in this house at the moment because it's so affordable and we really needed a lot of storage when we moved in. So um, it worked really well, but I just, yeah. I want something a little bit nicer. On top of here, we have a Bose sound system, and then we also have a mini one, which we move around the house. To be honest, this will definitely be coming to the new house with us because this is a very sort of um, powerful sound system that's way too powerful for a mid-terrace house, <laughs> which is what this is. So yeah, we'll be taking that, and then this will probably go in one of our offices. We have another Jo Malone candle here, which is the incense and embers. I stole this off Ali, and I love it. And more candles. You will notice that I have candles on every single surface that I can get a candle on, because I love, love, love candles. And then these are just some faux flowers that I picked up ages ago. They are nowhere near as good as the berries and grey ones. Um, and I've just popped it in a little tub that Maison de Fleur gave me. This man is following me absolutely everywhere. Oh, also our rug is from Dunelm as well. This kind of gave me all of the Laura Ashley vibes when I saw it, so I picked it up in there. I just like the subtle patterns. I'm not a huge color person, although I am gonna try and inject some color into our new house, but don't hold your breath. <laughs> we also have this print, which I believe is from Decenio, but don't hold me to that. We put it up in here because Paris is where I always remember that the first time I felt like I fell in love with Ali, so we popped that up on the wall, but we haven't really done a lot with the walls here because as soon as we'd finished off decorating the place, we realized that it was probably time for us to start thinking about moving, so we didn't really put any more art on the wall. Now this room was so cramped when we moved in. We put a door on that cupboard under there. It had an awful plastic sliding door that we got rid of and put that door on. It had Artex ceilings and um, just a central lamp. We put in these spotlights here and we put them throughout the house and we absolutely love those as well. We also painted the entire house white. It was very much a sort of magnolia color when we moved in and um, straight away we wanted to make it feel a lot more spacious so we painted the whole place and it really did make this place feel so much bigger. Then we come to our Christmas tree. This tree is from John Lewis and it's 
brilliant you just literally it just flat packs and then you just pop it over the top of a rod and it just kind of falls down it's great you would have seen me put this up in uh, one of my vlogmas videos that I'll link down below and um, yeah love it we've decorated it with all white bits and bobs and some white little um, is it poinsettia is that what you call them I think that's what you call them and white baubles and silver baubles with a touch of nude and um, deep red and then we've already started receiving some Christmas cards and some getting married cards. We're, we're not married yet, but um, yeah, it's obviously not far off now. So um, we're, we're very excited and it's just lovely to receive so many lovely cards. Oh, these are also from Clinique. Clinique sent us a huge, huge gift. And these were some of the things that were in there. We haven't filed those away yet into our cosmetics. This cupboard over here, this is literally just our understairs cupboard. Ali kind of uses this as an extension of his wardrobe. Um, we also keep one of our Dyson Hoovers in here. It did have a light, but I think the light may have now gone. Um, he keeps a lot of his coats in here and we keep like cat litter and food and um, yeah, you can't really see much, but that is basically an extension of Ali's wardrobe. From the lounge, we move into the kitchen and this is one of the biggest changes to this property. We redid the, well, we did do quite a lot to this. It was all oak and the floors throughout the house are oak as well. It was finished to quite a high standard, this house. But um, unfortunately, Ali took the washing machine apart once and we had a leak. So we didn't actually intend to do up this room but when we had a leak under the floor, we had to rip the entire kitchen out to find out what it was, because initially we didn't know. And we decided to paint all of the cupboards white. We put on a new worktop, because there was quite a large crack down the oak worktop that we did have. We did all new tiling, and we actually put in a proper hob unit. I'm falling over the cats. We actually put in a proper hob unit, because this was just a standalone cooker initially, and we decided that we wanted to put in a whole new hob. We all... <laughs> Hello. We also put in a new floor, which I absolutely love this floor. And I just think we've made this room feel so much more spacious than it was. It is obviously a small kitchen, but we wanted to do something really nice. And we replaced all of like the, the handles. So we did the cup handles and also these gorgeous knobs. We put in a huge new sink. This was like my pride and joy when I put this in. I love, love, love this sink so much. I love the spout. And I just think it gives this kitchen a much sort of, it gives it a more expensive feel, even though we really didn't spend a lot of money on it at all. Again, more candles. And then you can see into our garden, it looks like, but I'm not really gonna take you out there because it's too cold. Then I have some cookbooks. Um, some from Neil's Yard, a lot of the Madeline Shaw cookbooks, and also the Kinfolk table. Um, I've got a Nutribullet, and this is something that I think is supposed to be like a water dispenser, but I generally use this as a gin dispenser because it's all about that gin life. We've also got our Smeg toaster. I went for the chrome one, and I just love this so, so much. I love this, and we also got the matching um, kettle, which you um, you may have seen in my home. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I just have to run and get a new battery. You might remember this. I did a haul with this, and there's something about it. It just pours. I'm really sorry. This guy is just following me around and jumping around everywhere. There's something about the way that this um, kettle pours that it just it's really nice to pour. So I really, really rate this. We have in this corner a chopping board. This is a marble chop, well actually I think it's a cheese board, but we just put it on the side like it's a chopping board. This is from Next Home. And um, then we also have another candle. This is the Red Roses Jo Malone candle, which I love. It's a champagne bucket. This is also from Berries and Grey. And all of these flowers are also Berries and Grey. And this was a gift when Ali and I got engaged. I absolutely love this. It fills this corner so nicely and injects a little bit of color into this room as well. I have no idea what this is. It just appeared here one day, so I'm guessing that it's some kind of radio that Ali got given um, and he's just popped that on the side. I also have this. This is a gift from Carrie for when I'm having stressful days. I think it's from Kiki K. And it's basically three minutes that I just turn over and take a time out because um, people don't do that enough. So that was a gift from her. She always gets me like the cleverest gifts. These are some bits and bobs that we keep on the side because we love the um, tubs. These are the Harrods Sea Salt Caramel Hot Chocolate, the Harrods Signature Blend Coffee, and the Harrods Signature Blend, Blend Coffee Whole Beans. 
and then we have some Fortnum Mason fudging white peony mini king tea. There we have our hob and then we have our Nespresso machine which was a gift from my grandma when we moved in here. Um, she bought us this because I just used to use her coffee machine when I lived there so much. So this is a gift that we love lots and lots and I know that Ali has gone on to work with Nespresso quite a lot. And then she also got us a little pod holder here so we've got all of the little pods in there. This is just a little bit of a notice board. This is a postcard from my grandma when she went to Scotland. I love receiving little things like this from her and she's always sending little things. So um, that went on the fridge. And then this was something that my sister-in-law got me. It says, don't focus on who wears the pants in the relationship. Relationships work best when no one is wearing any pants. So I thought that that was a really good one to go on the fridge. And then I also have some pictures of Ali and I at the Go Glam Gala, which was about a year ago, I think. So. Yeah, this is just a little bit of a tiny little notice board here in our kitchen. Then we have our fridge. We bought this when we redid the kitchen. This is from Gourenier and we were torn between the Smeg fridge and um, this fridge. Now the Smeg fridge was just, it felt really, really big and I actually preferred the handles on this. It went with the chrome in this house a lot better. And not to mention at the time, it was a little bit cheaper. So we were like, oh, are we gonna spend over a grand for this? No, let's just get this one. Um, inside there's not a lot at the moment because I have a lot of um, meals that have been prepared for me. Like these three from my stepmom. There's always a lot of gin in our fridge and yeah, lots of, um, lots of soy milk and almond milk and condiments. So yeah, not a lot happening in there at the moment. Now this is probably my least favorite side of the kitchen and I guess you could probably say that this is what would be a utility room, but we do not have a utility room. Um, we have obviously the cat's uh, litter trays and the cat's food and the bin. And then this is kind of like a little breakfast bar area. When, when we looked around the house, they did have a dining table in the living room. And for us, it just felt too much. It's not a big room. So we decided to get rid of that space and make it into a, just a big, large living room and then have this tiny little breakfast bar. It's not ideal and we never really got to entertain, which is sad, but hopefully we'll be able to do that in the next house. And um, for now, we've enjoyed many a romantic dinner here or on the bloody sofa. <laughs> and finally, lots of people find this very, very funny. This is Lumi's bed. We have had to secure this on top of the boiler because these little climbers, um, she actually jumps from there up to there and into her bed and she loves it because it's warm and I really hope that Lynx can never jump up there because there will be serious arguments if he does. And then finally we have this little letter holder where we stick all of our letters and um, sorry we missed you notices and GQ apparently. So then we go up the stairs and I'm literally being followed around by this one. Are you following me? What are you doing? We go up the stairs to the only floor in this house. So first things first, we put all new carpet throughout the upstairs of the property because the carpet was really, really bad when we moved in. It felt like there was no underlay underneath it. So we really splashed out and put some gorgeous silvery carpet down throughout the whole of the upstairs. And it was so, so worth it. Some of the only pictures that we have mounted on the wall in this house are these three picture frames. Up the top here, we have a picture of Ali and I in the big antique mirror downstairs. This was us on shoot with Look Fantastic. And this was us in can with Clarins. Then we've got some of Lumi, which we'll obviously need to stick some of Lynx in there as well. Probably do that when we move. And then this one is from when we got engaged. At this point, I had no idea that this was what was happening on that day. And then this is, this is the moment that Ali asked me, and it's so funny, I always look at this and I think that my hand is like that, ready for him to put the ring on, but it's actually like that, because I'm like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> and then this was afterwards us having a glass of champagne and just enjoying the moment so much. So yeah, that was a year ago almost, oh my God. We also have a little scratching post down here for the cats so that they don't go at the carpet or the furniture and it seems to be working. And then we also have a little Feliway uh, diffuser here. This is Feliway Friends, I believe, to help the cats get on because it's been a bit tough. The first room off of the hallway is to your right, and this is our bathroom. The one room where we haven't really done a lot to it. We did put in a new sink, mainly because I 
um, smashed it with a Lemur tub and um, we put on some really nice taps as well I really love these I think that they just make it look a bit better in here because it's not the nicest of bathrooms these cupboards were here when we moved in we have these cupboards here and then we also have two cupboards next to the bath so there's lots of good storage in here unfortunately they probably need to be replaced now we have some molten brown fable juniper berries and lap pine we have both the hand wash and the hand lotion and we have the toilet this is where the magic happens um, we put a new button on this and we also put a new seat on this and then we have a little basket there for toilet roll candles room fresheners more candles um, and then we have a bath that is covered in products. So we have lots of Jo Malone products there, lots of L'Oreal LV, the gold one, and um, some Jo Malone bits and bobs there as well. On this side, we have, this is kind of like my section, and then this is Ali's. Lots of L'Oreal Men Expert bits and bobs, and um, some Purology in there, some caviar shampoo, which I really enjoy. Also got a huge Neil's Yard shower gel and some Elemis Life Elixirs so many of my favorite products there and um i just there's just not enough room in this bathroom we need more storage can you believe that you can take a look inside my bathroom cabinet is there anything embarrassing in there i don't think so apart from tampax <laughs> um lots of products just sort of stored in there as well and some plasters and some razors i literally I'm, i i don't even know what to say he's following me everywhere so i think we're just gonna have to accept the fact that he's coming along for the ride the next room in the house is my office and second bedroom essentially but it is my office and a dressing room and a meeting room and everything that you could possibly need in one and yet it's probably the smallest room in the house so we have my desk area i absolutely hate my desk i hate it hate it hate it but um it's a small quite narrow desk and i think that um i'll get something a lot bigger and a lot more spacious there's just never enough room on that thing and um yeah so I'm, i think that's staying here the shelf is staying here this is actually a cat toy so i'm just going to put this down here i love this buffet and i think we're going to get a lot more of this fabric and the buttoning around our house when we move this is from next home and there's a bed that i want and chairs and everything and uh, so i love this and i feel like it just kind of even though it's a small room it makes it feel a little bit more glam in here these mirrors were like one of my star purchases I got these from Costco and I got two of them I think they were 80 pounds each and we bought them when we moved in this chair gets so much love it's unbelievable um, this is from LTB furniture I found it on eBay and this was one of their display ones unfortunately it's a little bit ruined now the cats got in here and it's all kind of scratched on the back so we're gonna have to probably replace that or get it reupholstered I don't even know if that's possible but um, Oh, it's such a comfy chair. I love sitting there and working. I've said before that it's way too big for this room. It is. We bought it with the intention of moving quite soon and it just took a little bit longer. He's obviously on my desk. <laughs> More berries and grey flowers in a white company tub. My iMac, which I think I will get the bigger one when we move. And then on this shelf, I've got some Porter magazines. More candles and some books and this is like a little jewelry box of just kind of costume jewelry um that little box there is for receipts then onto the window which this little guy is uh looking out of and um this is the picture frame from my last vlog this is of mine and ali's snow day that which we printed with the instax sp2 printer and um another another candle um then this is kind of like a vanity but this is a whole lot of storage as well this is ali's chest of drawers he puts like all of his um fragrances in there and also his uh socks and pants and jeans and for me i mostly have like products in here so this is like the skincare drawer which was actually tidy earlier and it's the same goes for this but i've kind of like shoved everything in here so yeah this is kind of like the dressing area and I've got this um, marble, I think this is a chopping board and this is from Dunelm and then my mirror which gets a lot of love as well. This is from the range, I think it was £40, it's so good. And then these chest of drawers which I keep all of like my favourite lipsticks in. It's all kind of organised, these are all my reds, these are all my nudes, these are just some other bits and some more other bits, these are like lip liners and stuff like that. These are from, these are from HomeSense, yes they are from HomeSense. 
and on top of here I have kind of some little trinkets and stuff like that so I have the new Gucci Bloom I have some of the Elizabeth and James fragrances some Byredo and some Armani Privé the controversial Christmas present the by Terry Balm de Rose which was a limited edition this time last year don't think it's for sale anymore um, I have some picture frames up. Unfortunately, this is really annoying. Um, it's a little bit skew -if. This is from the campaign that I did with L'Oreal. If you didn't know, I am part of the L'Oreal Beauty Squad. And um, I was, this is actually before I was with the Beauty Squad. This was the first time I ever worked with them and it was just such an honor. And um, so yeah, and there's lots more happening over the next year, which is really exciting. Links, stop, links. Then we have my YouTube play button for hitting 100,000 subscribers, which feels like an absolute lifetime ago. And then on here, we have the YouTube award that Carrie got me, which um, actually shows that I hit 500,000 because YouTube doesn't acknowledge that and I really think that they should because it's such a huge milestone. And um, just some other bits, some tweezers and blah, blah, blah. I use the old diptyque candle jars as storage for little bits and bobs like that. Then we have my makeup box and some bits that arrived from Yves Saint Laurent earlier this week. This is their trench. This is like their Privé collection. This is their trench and then their tuxedo candle. So these are two of their fragrances. Um, which this is one of my favorites from the collection as well. Then I have this little carrier here, which I keep all of like my hair styling products in and um, it's seen better days. So I probably need a new one of those. Then up here we have more storage and this is um, where we keep camera equipment. This is all of my tanning products. And then this is Ali's, so Ali really got the short straw there. This is Ali's wardrobe in the corner here, and it is actually quite big, but it is the smaller out of the two wardrobes. And um, I'm not gonna show you inside because that's his stuff, and I don't go in there. So if he wants to show you, he will, I'm sure of it. Then we come out of this room and into the main bedroom, where you will find a little Lumi sleeping. Hey Lumi, hey, everyone's been missing you. Everyone thinks that you're not in vlogs anymore. Basically, Lumi has gone quite quiet since Lynx has arrived. And I think she's just taking some time to herself to kind of get used to the idea. And um, yeah, so I'm not like pushing her to do anything and I'm just featuring when she's with us, but she's, she's fine and we still love her so much. And this little terror, Lynx. So this is the main bedroom and when we moved into this property I was struggling really badly with my sleep so I really wanted to create a room that was just tranquil and no fuss and not too much going on. So people have often asked why we don't have any kind of like um, dressing units or anything like that in this area and it's because I just wanted a room with a bed that just felt like I was escaping and I feel like we did create that. And I, I really do like this room. It's such a great size and it's really, it's just a lovely room. And I now have no problems with my sleep. So I'm gonna put it down to this room and the fact that we just created a bit of a tranquil escape. This bed was my bed when I lived at my grandma's house before we moved in and she gave it to us as a gift. I love this bed so much and it will be coming with us to the next house. Then we have another one of these mirrors, which is from Costco. And this is kind of like the mirror that I use when I'm getting ready. Unfortunately, it has meant that this carpet has got a little bit, well, it's not worn, it's just a bit flat here. It needs a bit of a zhuzh um, because this is where I kind of get ready. And these lamps are from Dunelm and I can't remember how much they cost, but um, I'm sure we're gonna be buying new ones soon because this little man is gonna break it. <laughs> on my dressing table, I have this little plate, which is from Morocco. I got it on my trip to Marrakesh with Clinique. And then this candle is the Elizabeth Arden White Tea Candle, which, oh, it's just the dream. I love this candle so much. Keep lots of little tidbits in here. This is where all the rubbish that we don't have on the side of our tables goes. Yes, he's still here. He is still here. Then this little place under here, I generally put my handbag so that if there's anything I need to get out of it, it's usually close to hand. And then this little basket here is, it was a gift from my stepmom, and I just kind of throw little bits of like socks and candles and stuff in there. Um, but she has some more for us in the new house as well, because I really like these, they're so useful. Yes, yes, of course. Lydia really likes it, so Lynx choose it. Lynx, stop it! So our white bedding and our sheets they're all from the White Company. We really like them. They're nice and soft and cozy at night. And then these two pillows are from, again, Dunelm. This bedspread is from Dunelm. Ali actually bought me this. It's so cute. He bought it because he thought it reminded him of the Dior print. And so he got this for me. 
This is probably our third one though, because, because the cats sleep with us at night. Sometimes they wake up and they're not very well. And um, yeah, so Lumi was sick on the last one a couple of days ago, um, but it's very normal for cats to be sick. So this is um, one of the beds that we have on our bed for the cats, because they do sleep with us most nights. And this is a lovely little memory foam bed. And Lumi used to sleep in this every single night, but she actually doesn't anymore. Now she sleeps next to us. This one's actually quite funny though. He sleeps under the bed. So he sleeps under there. Um, also, these uh, stockings, these were a gift from Elizabeth Arden, and they are Laura Aston Designs, I believe. I'll link her down below. She's an amazing, amazing, I don't even know what you would call her, like, but she's amazing, and she makes the most amazing um, blankets that are this sort of thick yarn wool, and they're super cosy, and very like hygge, which is something that I really, really love, um, and I hope to create more of that feeling around my new house, um, but when we got these, we were just so happy. I got the cream one with a leather hook, and Ali got a black one with a leather hook as well. Curtains are also from Dunelm, no, actually, curtains are from the range, and we don't actually close these curtains. What we devised was that we wanted um, curtains that look like this, so quite sweeping, and then putting a blind which goes down, so it's like this. So yeah, that was the sort of thing that we wanted to do. Um, it's not as pretty as I hoped, and it's actually probably not been dressed very well. Sorry guys, you can tell I didn't actually prepare very well for this. Um, but that was kind of the thing that we thought would be easier than um, having big curtains. So, And also that's a blackout blind, which is great. And this is obviously my wardrobe. Now um, there's not actually much in there anymore because most of it is now in storage. So not a lot to show you. If you want to see what is inside, I will link a wardrobe tour down below. But that is it. You've finally seen around my house. I wanted to do this as part of Vlogmas because um, I have never really shown you my house and I always said that if we sold it, I would um, show you. Yeah, you finally know where everything is and um, what it's actually like in here. So um, I hope that you've enjoyed it and I hope that you enjoyed seeing what is our first home and um, seeing it before we actually move out. So you'll be able to see bits of the new house when we move, um, if we move soon. So yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what your favourite room of the house was. Um, I know there's not lots, so um, if you don't have a favourite room, that's absolutely fine. But um, yeah, if you liked the bedroom or the living room or the kitchen, let me know in the comments below. And um, I would love to know how many of you have purchased your first home or you're living in your first home or you're hoping to purchase your first home because it's such an exciting time and um, oh, Ali and I just love this place so much and we're just so sad to say goodbye to it. But other than that, um, I hope to see you back for more videos. Bye.